scientists have announced that penguins may be aliens, and this is due to them finding traces of chemicals from Venus in the bird's droppings. A team of researchers have said that Gen 2 penguins are producing the phosphine chemical, something that occurs on Venus. Dr. Dave Clements from the Imperial College London said the following, We're convinced the phosphine findings is real, but we don't know what's making it. There are some bacteria that produces phosphine. It's found in pond slime in the guts of badgers and penguin guano. It's very hard to measure and study because if you let oxygen in, it destroys it. We would really like to study the penguin guano to understand the biology, but it's quite hard for astronomers to get a grant proposal and go and play with penguins. So we're trying to navigate through interdisciplinary fields. End quote. The researchers have said these tests will be conducted after the launch of the James Webb Telescope, which may help them to detect life on other planets. A group of UK scientists said that alien life forms may have made their way to our planet already, and this could be in the form of tiny organisms, saying that if they're studied further we may find out that these same organisms exist on other planets within our solar system, and that they somehow managed to find their way to planet Earth. NASA Program Director Gregory L. Robinson said the following about the James Webb Telescope. The ambitious telescope launch could change how we see deep space forever. Webb is an exemplary mission that signifies the importance of preservance. I'm inspired by our dedicated team and our global partnerships that have made this incredible endeavor possible. Together, we've overcome technical obstacles along the way as well as challenges that we've all faced in recent years. Now that we have an observatory and a rocket ready for launch, I'm looking forward to the big day and the amazing science to come. End quote. NASA continued with the following on their website. The James Webb Telescope will be a large infrared telescope with a 6.5 meter primary mirror the telescope will be launched on an Ariana 5 rocket in 2021. The Webb Telescope will be the primary observatory of the next decade, serving thousands of astronomers worldwide. It will study every phase in history of our universe, ranging from the first luminous glows after the Big Bang, to the formation of solar systems capable of supporting life on planets like Earth, to the evolution of our own solar system. End quote. The penguin isn't the only creature that's caught the attention of scientists. A British scientist has come forward and said that it's almost a certainty that Jupiter's moon Europa is home to alien life, but they noted that these creatures could look similar to the octopus that we have here on Earth. The researcher behind the comments is that of Monica Grady, who's currently at the Liverpool Hope University. This vast ocean that can be found underneath Europa is a prime candidate for otherworldly life. It's not just Europa that they suspect life could be teeming with. They went on to express how they think the deep caverns and caves on Mars could also be hiding complex life. Monica Grady said the following about the possibility of there being life on Europa. When it comes to the prospects of life beyond Earth, it's almost a racing certainty that there's life beneath the ice on Europa. Elsewhere, if there's going to be life on Mars, it's going to be under the surface of the planet. There you're protected from solar radiation, and that means that there's a possibility of ice remaining in the pores of rocks, which could act as a source of water. If there is something on Mars, it's likely to be very small like bacteria but I think we've got a better chance of having slightly high forms of life on Europa, perhaps similar to the intelligence of an octopus. End quote. The octopus is one of the most recognisable creatures, but it's a creature that's shrouded in mystery. Over the years, many different researchers have expressed their interest in these creatures, and have said that their makeup is fascinating. Recently, scientists have discovered the octopus, squid and any other cephalopod evolved completely differently from nearly every other organism on the planet. Scientists have always known these creatures were a bit different, 
but a recent study has shown that some species are able to edit their RNA sequences on demand, and this is to adapt to their environment. This has baffled researchers. When an organism changes, it starts with a genetic mutation. This can be due to change in the DNA of said animal. These changes are then put into place by RNA. Going back to the study, it was discovered that a squid had edited over 60% of RNA in its nervous system. This meant this creature was able to adapt to wherever it was at any given time. It's like us being able to adapt to living in the desert, and then in Antarctica in a matter of seconds. This study also showed researchers that octopus and cuttlefish can do the same thing. It's due to these otherworldly abilities that some have put forward the idea that the octopus and jellyfish didn't originate from this planet, and that they were somehow transported here. One idea is that their eggs could have travelled vast distances, and arrived on our planet's via an asteroid. Although this may sound far-fetched, the shield shrimp eggs are able to last for many years. They lay eggs and if the conditions aren't right they will stay on hatch for up to 7 years. When there's the right amount of water, the thousands of eggs will come to life. So what do you make of these recent announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.